Hello everyone and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy, where we have just begun Chapter 3, The Cost of hey, Freedom. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? Sure you do, man. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. So, we've just arrived in this, uh... Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Stormy because location. Some complaining does. <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Where even are they? I hear them, but I do this not see them. This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache. Oh, units. down there. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter <laughs> before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It is not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. <laughs> I use a lot of lotion. Okay, let's uh, let's check out the upgrade this? bench. Because we have some stuff that we can get. Hey, Rocket. Wait, how long does it take to access data? What? Okay. <laughs> that's that's the that's a bit of a lengthy time to just open an upgrade menu. Okay, um, so, 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 so. What do we want to get? We have the rapid reload. Uh, consume less charge when firing the element guns. I'm just, I'm wondering why they're called element guns. Because they don't have any, like, element to them. Maybe that comes later. It's just like, currently, they're just like, <laughs> they do the shooting, you know? Uh, firing rate doubled. Uh, actually, you know what? Consume less charge when firing the element guns so you can keep firing them for longer. That does sound good. The only issue would be, like, some of those things that you have to break. It seemed like they required the, like, right trigger press uh, quick reload to actually break them, because it fires off like a bigger shot. And if you're having, if it's taking longer to run down the charge when you fire it, then, you know, it'll be longer before you get that thing, so... But I mean, I imagine it's an overall upgrade. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Suit stuff. Regenerate shield points more quickly. Increase shield point total by 50%. That's pretty major. Increase health point total by 50%. Interesting. I'd, I mean, I'd probably go for shields before health, right? Because ideally you'd never let your shields drop and your health will never be touched. So ideally uh, it doesn't matter what your health point total is. So long as your shields stay up. So I'd probably go for that first. Don't really care about scanning enemies. Uh, dodge last second. Glide around targets for a short time while shooting. Hmm. And then we're back to the start. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's, let's increase our shield total. That feels like a good... Way right, to live more yours. and not get uh, not get dicked on. We could grab that. I don't think. I think I'd rather save up for some more now that impressive was some stuff. Quality crafting, if I might say so myself. You might. Okay. Now I believe we had some extra stuff here. We we did that conversation right. Uh, but there was something else. There was this. Oh, that's a picture of him and his mum. And a very uh. Very classic Guardians-looking image there. Wasn't there, um... I could have sworn there was more things we could talk about. Like, we talked about this one. What happens if we click this again? Does anything different happen? Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. No, okay. Oh, was it this? I think we picked up three things that it was like, you can talk to someone about this. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey, who said you could touch that? Okay, this was one of them. I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it <laughs> while I was sleeping. <laughs> eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tort. I don't snore. 
that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Oof. Holy crap. Rocket. Poor dude. Uh, how many super soldiers were there? How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. Damn. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. Where is she and now? Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What well, we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Jesus, man, that's uh, heavy shit. Rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What about the scientists? What were they doing? What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. Then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Fair enough, man. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that, Rocket. For real. Damn, that's heavy, man. That is some heavy stuff. Poor Rocket. What have we got here? Team costumes. Rocket, you want how much for these things? Oh, wait, we read that. We read that. Never mind. <laughs> uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Oh. Is there anything we could do here? Nice it doesn't look like it. Because it was dry. Okay, that leads up there. There was one more. Did it say it was in Groot's room? This is just... That's what I want to do after this mission. I don't know. After we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predicting? Contraxia's got nice weather. <laughs> okay, was the shower room Groot's room? Because this is... We've looped around to the start now, right? Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. How about we find some backwater Am I just, world and go off? It doesn't say Groot on the door, no, does it? But none of them do. It worked for me in the past. I could have sworn well, it said something was in Groot's room, but whatever, like I can't see it. So I think we're good to go. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Hey, I heard that. Ugh, oh, 
You're right. Maybe it's this? Drax wouldn't hide from the cops. It would be cowardly and dishonorable. Yep, there we go. I am brute. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. I am brute. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. <laughs> Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. I'm not wearing my jacket. Maybe I should wear my jacket. What do we think? Wait, wrong button. What do we think about the outfit? Uh, where is the outfit tab? Oh, right, the compendium. I keep forgetting about that. I need to... Wait, hang on. Where is the outfit? Oh, right. Here. I feel like that worked for the Nova mission. I feel like we should probably swap back to this now. Does anyone else have other outfits unlocked? I think I actually got sent a code. Oh, right, yeah, that one, but... I like this one better. I think I actually got sent a code with some outfits in it uh, when I pre-ordered, so I should probably uh, add that in at some point. I will, I, I'm going to try and remember at the end of this recording session to uh, look through the Galactic Compendium a bit. Also, looks like we've got a couple more bits here. Uh, which one did we get up to? I think we got up to this, right? Uh, after we wasted time chasing down some weird space llama, our big bad monster showed up only to get eaten by that shadow thing that came out the gemstone. It flew off and took half the QZ with it. Right, I forgot that we, like, we let that out and then we didn't actually deal with it. So it's still out there, I guess. Busted. Barely escaped the QZ and landed straight in Nova Corps custody. I had Drax hide rocket stolen tech, but we still got caught in forbidden space and with a creature that ain't exactly going to pass for a house cat. Lucky it's got... Lucky it's Centurion Corel who caught us. She and I have history. Time to turn on the charm. Looks like we aren't we weren't the only ones snooping around the QZ. Nova caught some grand priest guy. Baker? Raker? Faker? From the church of something something. They must have taken some hits on the way out because their ship blew up right there in the hangar. That little Nova girl playing warden got knocked off the catwalks and I heroically leapt to the rescue. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. This Nikki is Koval all over. Same smile, same smarts, same love of rules. Hard to imagine Koval having a, another kid after, well, after the war. Gotta say, Nick and I make a good team. She'd make a fine guardian if she could get past the whole straight arrow thing. Still, when her mum caught us, she slipped me her keycard to avoid getting caught, so maybe there's hope for her yet. Free at last, free at last. Sorta. As totally not over me as Corel was, she still slapped us with an 8,000 unit fine. We've got three cycles to pay it off before their Nova Tracker locks our engines and we end up in a cell. Still, could be worse, right? Okay, we stick to the plan. Sell a fearsome monster to that Lady Hellbender on Seknaf 9. Too bad we lost the one in the QZ, but Rocket is pretty terrifying on the inside, so we're going with him. Once we're paid, we just have to sneak back in and spring him. That is where we are up to. Cool, cool. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. We accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. <laughs> of course, it had to be raining. Hey man, I'm in the UK. I'm used to it. I hate wet. Okay, let's see if this uh, is the thing. Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. <laughs> Actually, hold that thought, Rocket. I didn't always have a translation implant. Rocket. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, 
Do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. <laughs> I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird <laughs> birds, and Yeah, that kind of been therapists. good times if you didn't have a translator. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. <laughs> Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. Aww. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and, and us. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. <laughs> I love that he typoed that. who knows? That. If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. Yes, you are. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> All right. Anything back here? I mean, there's still this thing. Is, is the tech in here? Whoa. Yeah. Glad Corel didn't find that on top of the space llama. Yeah, that would have been not good. All right. Uh, I think. Oh wait. And last place to check is in here. Anything new? Not really. I believe they were hatchet-wielding goons, and they were after Peter Quill. Who cares about the hatchet, guys? It wasn't raining, and we weren't about to be selling one of us. Okay, how do I leave? Do I just walk out here? Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. That is an I interesting a door. How much I hate rain! Hellbender's castle isn't even that far! That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Sure, that always works. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. <laughs> Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Yeah, it's a big boy storm for sure. Out! Uh, hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Storm Lord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip! We got this! Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed! You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. <laughs> Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. 
Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking wretch. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady H is so powerful, why does she live on this scuttle? Sekhnoff 9 is her ancestral home. A concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. <laughs> Where you're from ain't what matters, Meathead. It matters to Lady Hellbender. Okay, I saw a thingy down here, so let's grab it. Oh. Never mind, you can't grab it like that. Uh, Pick it up, Quill. I ain't waiting around to get hit by lightning. Relax. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Oh, Lord. That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. That was pretty close. Do we reckon there's any this way? We're still doing this. Yes. Oh yeah, there is. There is. It's because this is quite a big area, so you have to like. You're not just gonna stumble into all of them. Okay. Mechanics. Gotcha. Fortress is this way. Of course he knows we're on the clock. Three cycles. It's called scouting, okay? No, it's all going the wrong way. Oof. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keep on live. This is very cool. Alright, how are we gonna get past this? Are we gonna... Have we got time? I guess we've got time. Oh, it's gonna cutscene us, okay. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey. What is this? Check out the old resistance ship. That's what it is. <laughs> Things been shot to hell. Can we get anything we're useful from this it? One and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. What the fuck? It's a blob. Not sure. Hello, Blob. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! Okay! It's not alone. Get ready! Alrighty. Gamora, do a thing. Holy shit! Oh my god, Gamora is so good. Stop! Stop! 
short group! Ow. Gotta, gotta really focus on these cores. Damn it. They, they go back in really quickly. It's pretty hard to... Uh... Okay, get it. That one's done. Wait, what? Oh my god. They go back in so quickly. Uh, I'm stunned. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> well, this is a bug. I can't move. Oh. There we go. So that's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Centurion ship designation Bukta. Crew honored and interred without remains. Standard vessel designed for resistance to resupply efforts. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. When the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Drax is having an existential meltdown. How would I get up there? I can't climb back up here, can I? Hmm. Anyone else hear something? Hear what? It was probably Drax's stomach. My stomach would bellow like a wild beast. Hey, Star Pants! See anything we can climb on? Not really, but maybe if we cleared the gunk off the side. Oh, I rip it apart! Let's go easy if we can. Keep in mind this old thing helped win the war. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. True. That's an excellent point. I'll continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Huh. Can I get over Great. there from here? Up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I'm going to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. Do my there best. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel is all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Nice, we can't get up and around. Uh, not loving what? that sound. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Not a huge fan of that roar. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Oh boy. Poor Prince, unknown quadruped. I'm eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. 
Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Uh, even with Brute? Okay, maybe excluding Brute. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fine. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... Oh god. I don't have my friends here. Yeah, I think you're getting closer. This is going to take ages to kill them with just the blasters. Like, they very quickly get their health back. Get their shield thing back, rather. I found a cave in the jungle. Man, it's actually this is actually gonna take so long. Wait, can I just get out of here? Oh. Wait, what? Why did I just get... What? Am I being fucked? I feel like I'm getting fucked here. Wait, they've both gone back to full health? Okay, just kill me. Come on. Wait, why am I not dying? Hello? That was weird. It looked like I was at zero health for like three hits there. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Like, your blasters do like fuck all to them, but you don't have any other abilities. Unless melee works. I didn't try melee. Careful. Looks like something big moved. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is... First. Ooh, mysterious. Wait, wasn't there parts to pick up here last time? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. For hidden bodies. Okay, I'm gonna try melee just because I didn't think to try it last time. Please don't let there be a space baron here. Oh, hello. There's a. And hello, mystery goo. Hmm. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. I don't like that you can literally walk right through there, but you can't, actually. Oh yeah, that does nothing, okay. Not gonna lie, it doesn't seem like I'm supposed to be fighting these guys with just me, right? Like, I'm just not equipped for... I'm just not equipped to fight them with just these shit blasters, right? I'm not missing anything, like it just takes a really long time to wear down their shields. The shields come back almost immediately. They deal heavy damage. This seems really weird. I feel like something's just gone wrong with this little side room. I don't know. It feels like the others are supposed to follow me, but they're just not for some reason. I think it might be bugged. I don't know. Like Careful. clearly that doesn't work like as a just on your here. own fight. Hey, let me guess. Some kind of monster I don't know. Thing. Something's Good gone wrong there. Yes. Well Whatever. Done. Let's just move on. Chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it will jump first? It's probably not going to jump us. Mhm. Mm you 
you sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. There's further proof that you're not alone here. What are you firing at, Peter Quill? Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Uh, can you slice you it up? through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Name's Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. But what about her sister, Nebula? Mm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. <laughs> right, that too. Not gonna lie, when it we'll said defender, I expected that to be what he said. Why? It's dry down here. You not that she's adopted. Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside. Lady Hellbender's Fortress. Yep, could be. 